We would like to give a big shout out to our sponsor, Sonic Electronics. So check them out for great deals on speakers, head units, amps, subs, wiring, etc. Use discount code PROVOBEAST for an instant 5% off your next purchase during checkout. Provo Beast do another install today. Today we're going to show you how to add Sirius XM to an aftermarket radio. In this case we've chosen a Kenwood radio. What we'll be doing with this install is showing you exactly how to run all the cabling, uh, how it connects into the unit, and uh, really all that you'll need to get it all set up. So go ahead and check out the unboxing of this unit. We'll show you um, exactly what it comes with. That link will be in the description. Uh, but let's go ahead and head to the car and get started All right, so we went ahead and got this all pulled apart for you now you have your main module itself and the connection end that plugs into the Radio itself now in addition we have this guy which is basically the whole antenna and cabling assembly needed to uh, Obtain that reception and then the box and instructions now keep in mind uh, once you get it all set up, you still have to call SiriusXM or go online to activate your account in order to pay for that service. You're going to need the radio ID number, which is right there. Additionally, if you forget, install this before you actually get that number off the unit itself. They also put it on the back of the box. So, two different locations to obtain that. What you'll need to do is get this all wired up and we'll show you how to do so. And call them to activate your service and then uh, you should be good to go. All right, here we are. So there's the, the end of the adapter that plugs into the back of the radio. Back on the radio, we have right here the satellite radio input. So that's where that will plug in. That's really the only connection between the module and the radio. Now I fed that down up through just so it doesn't get in the way back behind radio. And I'll show you where it's come out down below. All right, down here below. So here's our module. We're going to just locate it down here because the dash already is so tight. Really, you can put this anywhere within the length that the wire provides. So there's our module. That end plugs into the back of the radio. All right, and there's our antenna. And there's the extra that I've bundled. But basically, just run it all the way. And you want this totally clear out of anything just so it gets the best reception. Run it all the way up underneath here. Now as you can see here, you can see that little line. Then there is our antenna mounted. Just like so. Um, nice and snug, it's not gonna go anywhere. But that just ensures that it gets the best signal. Some people put it actually on the dash inside. That is up to you. You may not get the best reception, but you know, it totally depends on the vehicle and the area, area of which you live in. So we're gonna go ahead and get that all cleaned up and tucked away. Up underneath there, all zip tied, and uh, go from that one point. All right, so we got our unit in the car. Um, I just want to do a quick demonstration for you, so you can see how it looks as we boot it up. But we also have XM as well. It's kind of cool. If you have any questions on this unit, just go ahead and post a comment below. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching the channel. Hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe, and we will certainly see you in the next video.